on 105.9 FM and streaming worldwide on the WMAL app. O'Connor and Company. It's 8.37. It's O'Connor and Company on this Independence Day where we are live and with you every moment of the day. Great news that you all can use your water now without having to boil it. I know that's a relief for you, Mercedes Schlapp. Good morning. Well, I'm, I'm in Alex, city of Alexandria, still pretty crazy place to live. But Arlington, yes, they lifted up the water advisory and uh, as well as in D.C., which that is good news. It is. And the good news is... If not, is I was just going to say drink beer. I don't really know what to tell you. It is Independence <laughs> Day, isn't it? Well, you can still drink beer. Uh, I like beer. Just like our, our great Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh. So like one beer. of the um, really noteworthy uh, developments from the disaster of a debate this last Thursday is that Donald Trump has not really tweeted anything about it or truthed about it on True Social. He hasn't um, played it up at a rally. He hasn't done a prayer. He hasn't sort of gotten in the way of his political opponent self-destructing, which, to be fair, has not been his regular mode of operation. style? Usually, no, yeah. he's usually sort of jumped on board. However, uh, we do now have a viral video of his reaction. It, it, he was in a golf cart with Barron going golfing. I think he wants to, you know, make sure his golf game is, in fact, better than Joe Biden's, just in case. It is. <laughs> that, that's not a lot. To and he yeah, was he was asked about uh, the what's happening with Biden and whether he's done and what about Kamala. Here's what he had to say. How did I do with the debate the other night? Oh, yeah. oh amazing. Keep that old broken down pile of crap. <laughs> yeah. It's a bad guy. He just quit, you know. He's quitting the rest. Is that right? Yep. I got him out of the right. Well, and that means we have Kamala. Uh, I think she's going to be better. She's so bad. She's so <laughs> pathetic. It's so amazing. She's just so I just can't imagine. But can you imagine that guy with uh, dealing with Putin and the president of China, who's a fierce person? He's a fierce man. Right. A very tough guy, and they see him. They probably he can't. But it, it, they just announced he's he's probably quitting. Good. Very good. Yeah, that's amazing. Just keep knocking him out, right? That's it. All right. Let's get instant reaction now from uh, our friend Sean Spicer. He's a former White House press secretary, colleague of yours, uh, Mercedes and pal, and the host of the Great Sean Spicer Show. Sean, uh, take it away. This has been a remarkable week, hasn't it? Yes, Arlington can now boil their water. How how great are we as a country? Um, <laughs> stop. No, no uh, let's just be clear. Arlington does not have to boil their water. They've given oh, yeah, the congrats. they've been given the green light. Congratulations, Arlington yes. and DC. Happy Fourth of July, everyone. <laughs> See how far we've come. <laughs> in only another fortnight, we will be able to <laughs> pass the Delaware. It, is, um, it does feel like we're in the Donner Party sometimes, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean, seriously, like that's our. Hey, good news. You don't have to boil your water today uh, outside the nation's capital. Yeah. Uh, anyway, wow, what a week. I mean, you know, normally for those who've been in the DMV for a while, it's a quiet, quiet, sleepy week. And between this court case, the debate fallout, it just, I, I can't believe it's great for political junkies. Yes. Um, oh, yeah. And I got to tell you, th th this debate exceeded my expectations on every level. Um, it what a, I mean, the, the fallout has been spectacular. The thing that's so funny, I tweeted this out yesterday. The debate was on Biden. There's no question about this. But the staff, the fact that the staff had not reached out to key Hill leaders, political leaders, their other staff for over a week was his was on the staff. Like I start to realize that it really is the dumb leading the blind, leading the deaf. I mean, they're like these guys are unbelievable. It's It's horrible from every angle. Yeah. Well, Sean, it also shows that the White House staff, like they're they're in the bunker, like they're they're such in crisis mode that they don't know how to get themselves out of it. And when you look at Corinne Jean Pierre, who literally has been no, no, I don't, I can't, I won't look at Why? it. I have to look Why? away, <laughs> look away, Why? look no, away. <laughs> but like for the first time, okay, this woman has gotten the easiest press conferences. I mean, you've been in that room, you've had the most combative. Um, exchanges with these reporters and finally for the first time I see the reporters at least not asking the question of like um, what's Joe Biden's favorite ice cream flavor I mean seriously I mean how outraged must so you I, feel right now I, I it, it's it's I, I was just I was on step eight of my recovery program and it just fell back to four um, <laughs> look I'm gonna answer I'm gonna answer your question 
in I, I'm now I'm, Larry. I'm doing my theater practice. I'm going to answer it oh, in boy. my Corinne Jean Pierre voice. Oh, oh excellent. Mercedes, look, Mercedes, you, you've seen what I've seen, and the president has seen what you've seen over the last few days, and we've all seen it. And you know, I he said this the other day, and you heard him say what he said when he said it. And I just want you to know that I say what he said when he said it. And look, I think that. <laughs> That should what now I don't want to go too far because of the Hatch Act, okay? But I will say that what we saw the other night um, is is what we all saw. And so if we continue to see what I saw when you saw when the president said it, guys, we all saw that, okay? But I don't Uncanny. want to go too far because of that. I just don't want to go too far because of the Hatch Act, okay? Yeah, um, yeah. Um, but I hope you ask the same questions to the other guy. Look, guys, it's obvious he had jet lag with a cold. Lots of Come people on. take twelve days. Yeah. Who among us? Can you imagine? Yeah. He's going to start having jet lag coming back from Rehoboth Beach. <laughs> I, that, I that do. You know, I, I love the fact that everyone's like, well, finally, Corinne Jean-Pierre. You know, first of all, the reporters are just asking the question that they should have been asking three and a half years ago. James Rosen asked the question, and he got spanked by Jen Psaki and the communications department at the White House. Uh, they've just been denying reality and covering up for the president. Uh, and for the White House. I mean, honestly, this yeah, isn't, none of this should be a revelation to anyone. No, look, first of all, the, I, I realized yesterday who, when, when there are infomercials on and you say to yourself, who the hell buys that? It's the press corps in the White House. They're, they're the only <laughs> ones dumb enough to buy half the crap. Because I was like, you got to, the best part about yesterday was the president the night before in McLean, I think he was at Terry McCall's house, says, so, suddenly throws this new, I've had jet lag after 12 days of resting yes. theory out there. And then they asked Corinne yesterday, and she says, guys, I did know about the jet lag. I was so focused on the cold, I didn't bring it up. And they're like, oh, okay. That, like, I mean, and then it's fine. I mean, no follow-up, no challenge. Can you, Are these the so same reporters I, that, that you had to deal with? I'm looking forward to Monday when it's like, guys, uh, I forgot to mention the space aliens. The space <laughs> aliens, that was the other thing. They took him Shut away, which is partial jet lag, and where he got the cold. That's I, I just I oh. didn't bring it up. I want to throw And then in. they'll be like the alien pandemic, and then they'll close everything down by yes. October, and that's the October Social surprise. Oh, my goodness, you Sean. Do it. You're brilliant. You're brilliant. Hey, uh, don't, don't I, tell him he's brilliant. Yeah. How you know, are you going to celebrate true, the but... 4th? How are you going to celebrate your independence, Sean? Well, I'm going to watch. There's a new documentary out that Mercedes is in called Trump's Front Row Joes. It's on SalemNow.com. And I'm going to celebrate uh, by watching that. If you go to SalemNow.com, you can stream it. Uh, but I want to see it. Wait, aren't uh, you today. the? Pro- didn't you produce that documentary? He's a producer. He's like a big deal. Yeah, kind of executive producer, but hey, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, yeah, you know, executive producer. I mean, I'm not. It's not important whether I was in charge or not. Um, <laughs> no. but, <laughs> unless it wins like a, a you know an Just, award, then it is. But, Sean, uh, but, I know you didn't want to include Larry in it, and it's okay. His feelings aren't hurt. It wasn't me. It was when we talked, to, <laughs> there were some SAG after issues uh, about an issue that had occurred several years back. And uh, apparently it, was, it wasn't Will Smith level, but uh, there were some issues that the uh, SAG after folks, it, it actually came up uh, very low in the uh, negotiations to mm-hmm. get them back to work. But I, I couldn't do it. I just – I wanted to, uh, but you know, he, he, the Trump, the front row Joe's had an issue. I don't know where it all came from. No, it's fine. Um, but so yeah, thank I'm going to be doing guys. that. I I'm going to read it. the Declaration of Independence and then most of the other founding documents. I'll probably get into the Federalist Papers later today, pending <laughs> cloud cover. Um, just, just watch Hamilton. It's, a, it's, it's the same that, thing. This is a time to spend with family and to educate them. My kids are like, yes. oh, can we go outside? And I'm like, well, when we're done. Yeah, if you pass paper. your test on our founding. Yeah, that's the way you do it, Sean. Yeah, I like it. Sean, yeah, thank you for that. I appreciate it. We'll all watch Front Row Joes. You can get it at uh, at uh, Salem now, which is their Oh, by the way, service. Yacht Rock is coming back, I think, in yeah. July. Yachtly crew. We so are, we need to all we're connect ready at the again Birchmere. on Yacht Rock. Absolutely. Yeah, but they're playing in Rhode Island this summer, too. So just see. I'm and just Annapolis. Yeah, they, we, we, yeah, it's uh, it's an interesting thing that's going on here. And by the way, I know 
um, Heather Hunter was going to Venmo me for appearing this morning. I just want to make sure she's got the address right. I'll tell you. Well, I, I think you just got you, you just got double with that shameless plug on your film. So let's just let's just right. call it well, square. Well, you know what? The, 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 the cool part is, if you actually want to come, people keep asking me, "Is there a big screening?" And I was like, "There is. It's in the Hadid Carpet Center." And you open it up <laughs> with Garage Door Repair uh, dot com. You well, open you the gate. It's gonna, and then it'll be on a big. Screen. Jamie Witten was so excited when I told her about it. And, mm-hmm. uh, this is she's emceeing the event again. I hate to Ooh. break that to you, but Sean, uh, yeah. you don't have to remind Larry that we didn't invite him. Just that was on the low. Well, that was Jamie's idea, not mine. You I, guys I, keep I, me Heather so Hunter humble. The, uh, <laughs> you are, Heather Hunter did the you guys are list. so good for keeping my ego in check. I really appreciate it. This yeah, has been excruciating. I know. And by the way, can I just? I didn't want to bring this up at the beginning, but like seriously. You're a wine snob. Like this whole I like beer like Brett Kavanaugh. Come on, let's let's I mean, you know, I get that you don't we have to know boil the real your water Larry. out there in Annapolis. Yeah. yeah. I mean I, he doesn't have to boil his water like the rest of us probably. <laughs> <laughs> Well, listen, let's uh, let's thank Sean Spicer for joining us on his final <laughs> appearance on O'Connor and Company. You went out with a bang. Thanks, well, Sean. Well, no, I appreciate it, but the new sh- when the new show rolls out and the new name and the new house, we'll, we will never forget. It's Schlapp and Company, from. but don't tell anybody. <laughs> oh, that just rolls no. off the tongue, doesn't it? Was it? A little, it, was, it was a little odd to do the last show on the 4th of July, but that's what, you know, all the big... Speaking of the Hadid Carpet Cleaning Traffic Center... 